Good morning everyone. Sorry, it's a bit dark. Is that better? Good morning. Well, yesterday we went to that incredible event that I was telling you about, the charity event. It was the... Oh, let's just switch it around. It is Monday morning and we are back in routine. Dropped the girls to school, been to the gym. But yesterday we went to that incredible event that I was telling you about, the SOS Children's Villages charity event. I didn't vlog it. I know I said I was going to vlog it, but I didn't vlog it because it wasn't the right environment. It was incredible though, it was beautiful. We were in the Bombay Brasserie, which is a restaurant down in Kensington in London, in central London. And it was the first one since before COVID. So everyone made a real effort to dress up because we haven't really had that kind of occasion for a long, long time. So everyone made the effort to dress up and it was so lovely. I didn't even vlog my outfit, but I will actually, I will, I will put a little cutaway here of the reel I made of my outfit. I did manage to get a reel, but that was it. And then I didn't film anything at the event because it just wasn't, it wasn't the thing. <laughs> but it was wonderful. The food was lovely. The menu that they had put together, oh my goodness, it was so, oh, I stuffed myself and then I didn't have any dinner when I came home. That's a lie. I had chocolate. <laughs> but um, yeah, sorry, I've got my teeth trays in so if I'm talking funny um, but yeah it was absolutely lovely I would have loved for my girls to come with me and my son actually all I would have loved for my kids to come but they're all in the middle of exams so they didn't come which is a shame because obviously it's a children's event in the sense that it's raising money for children and there were lots of kids there as well so it was a really lovely in fact I was talking about it with my husband last night it was so nice because there were like three or four generations of family there. I mean, there were about 250 people, but you know, there were kids, there were their parents, there were their grandparents, and I'm guessing there may have been some great grandparents there as well, I don't know. But really lovely, such a lovely, just a really warming feeling, like, yeah, heartwarming, really nice. Anyway, I'm rambling. I am ready to go out. I'm gonna go to the Grove. Um, it's a beautiful, beautiful day outside. It's like 22 degrees today in London, so, I'm going to go to the Grove and meet a friend for lunch. Um, let me just show you what I'm wearing. So, I'm wearing this old, I say old, it's kind of, I think it's last year. Yeah, I bought this last year. bought this in Spain. This is a Marge dress. It's actually open. You can't see it. It's open at the back. And I just love, it's kind of, it's broidery on glares. So it's very summery, but I love the fact that it's black and it just, it fits so perfectly. I love Marge dresses. So that's what I'm wearing. I've got my Valentino rock stud gladiator sandals, which I literally searched these out. I can't tell you how hard it was to find these. I saw these in duty free last year, but they were half a size too big. And I know the sales assistant was like, oh, you know, they'll be fine. I am so particular about shoes that are open toe and open back like these are because I hate having like that kind of, when the shoes look too big for your heels. I hate that, I hate that. I'd rather not have them. Anyway, I was looking for them everywhere, <laughs> everywhere in London, um, even online. I couldn't find them anywhere. I went to all the Valentino shops and all the concessions, everything, couldn't find them. And then a friend of mine, she saw them online in my size. There was one pair available. She texted me. She sent me the link. I was like, oh my God, I'm on it. Got them. And I love them. I just love them. They're so gorgeous. And they are really, really comfortable. And very excited for a new bag. So this is the first outing for my first ever Birkin. Now, I actually got this pre-loved. I got this from Cellier in Knightsbridge and um, it's just, oh, it's the dream colour. I just love it. Now I want a pair of slides in exactly the same tan, but I just think it looks so lovely against black. What do you think? I've had it for a while, but I haven't worn it because 
if I'm going on the tube, it's not a bag I'm ever going to take on the tube ever. But because I'm driving to the Grove, I can take it and feel secure that it's, you know, I feel kind of safe to take it out. Oh, I'm kind of a little bit speechless in the sense that I don't really know what to say because I'm not even sure that I should have shown it on camera. Um, but um, I hope you'll be happy for me <laughs> that I have this. I'll just show you the full outfit. And there's the new baby. Right, we are late and I need to leave. So, I'll see you at the Grove. <laughs> We are going to have a quick coffee, I think, before we have lunch. I'm a little bit late, but I had to nip to the loo quickly. But I just thought, here, I can show you my outfit a little bit better. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think that the lighting is slightly better here. We're in the bathroom <laughs> at the Grove. There is the most glorious spa here at the Grove. It's the uh, Espa Spa, so actually, even in the bathrooms, Everything is S-bar. It's so pretty. The flowers and everything. Anyway, she is waiting for me now, so I need to go. I've lost her. Of course you would be in this room far away. <laughs> I went all the way to the end. Doing my steps. <laughs> Here she is! Look at these two waiting for their breakfast. First thing in the morning, first thing I do, feed my little babies. Good morning, everyone. Tuesday morning, did not film anymore yesterday because my battery ran out <laughs> while we were having lunch and then it was just normal kind of busy school day and that kind of thing but it is Tuesday and it is grey it's been raining all night I'm just looking out into the garden it's been raining and it's really kind of 
quite miserable outside. It's quite windy as well, actually. I can see it's quite blustery. Um, heading off, doing the school run, and gonna hit the gym. And then we have another busy day today, all work-related today, though. So I will try and take you with me for some of it because it should be quite interesting. Um, but first, coffee. We are back, showered, changed, did an hour long uphill walk on the treadmill and did 500 calories today. So I'm feeling good and virtuous and I'm showered and changed and about to head out to the Emma Hardy event, which I'm very looking forward to because it's a brand that you know I love, I've worked with, I use, I've been using Emma Hardy products for the last 10 years or something like that, more than 10 years. And today I think it's the launch of a new sensitive care range. I could be wrong. I could be wrong, but I will take you with me. So you will see for yourself. Um, I'm wearing an old blouse. I can't remember who it's by. I didn't look in the label before I put it on. That's the problem with wearing old stuff. You can't remember who it's by. <laughs> so I'll, I'll put it in the description box below if I can find something similar, but it's just such an easy to put on piece and it kind of just goes with everything. It's this beautiful kind of like, I don't know, light brown taupey mushroom color in my comfort zone with leather leggings. First outing for these babies, which I got at Duty Free when I was going to Spain to Marbella earlier this year, last month. So this is going to be their first outing. I hope they're comfortable because I do have to walk a bit after I get off the tube. Um, but I absolutely love them. I've been wanting a pair of these for so long and finally got them in duty free. It's always really difficult to get your size. They kind of sell out quickly, especially when you've got little feet like mine. I'm wearing it with my little Lulu Guinness bag. It's so cute. Can you see the little eyes on there? So, so cute. And that's a bag I've had. Oh, we're not in focus. That is a bag I've had for absolute ages, but I've been wearing it a lot the last couple of weeks. And then I'm gonna finish off my outfit with this really lovely kind of Balmain blazer stroke coat. It's a short coat basically, which you've seen. I've worn this before. I think I wore it in the last video. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna have a little bite to eat before I go out there because I haven't eaten anything and it's about 11.30, so I need to eat something before we head out to go and see the girls at Emma Hardy. So that's the full outfit. Hey. run out the door. I'm heading to a hair event. It's actually a sit down dinner. So I've kind of got a little bit dressed up, not too much. Um, but oh my God, days like these are going to kill me. I literally haven't stopped since I got up at, I can't remember what time I even got up. And um, yeah, came back from the M Hardy event, had to cook dinner quickly because there was no dinner for the kids. So I had to cook dinner, um, do some work, get changed. <laughs> I want to say I got ready, but I just, I can see I look like a total mess. Let me show you what I am wearing. Please ignore any of the mess that you see in the background, but this is what I am wearing. It's a little camisole top from Dolce & Gabbana, which I've just seen is not sitting right. So yeah, I'm wearing this little Dolce & Gabbana camisole top, a different pair, 
not the same ones I wore this morning, a different pair of um, leather leggings. My favorite Manolos, they're about that high. And then I'm gonna put on my Dolce Gabbana jacket and I'm taking my big, my biggest Chanel bag. Done, <laughs> I'm rushing out the door now. So that was very quick, but that is the outfit for the evening. I'm out of breath. And, um, oh, I'm taking a friend with me as well. It's actually the friend I went to Marbella with last summer. So she's coming with me. I'm gonna head to her house and then we'll head into the dinner together. It is Thursday and I am dressed for a day in town today. I'm going to go and see a few brands and um, go to a couple of uh, like press launches and things like that. So hopefully you'll be able to come with me. I am going to apologise about the hair, but one of the appointments is actually a wash and blow dry. So that is my excuse for that. I had a really lovely dinner last night with a friend who doesn't live here anymore. I met her when she used to live here oh, years and years ago. I've known her for 20 years. Um, but she doesn't live here. She was here for a while. Met her then and we've become such good friends. So I went to meet her for dinner last night really early. We were done by 8 o'clock. <laughs> that is my life now. 6.30 dinners and we're done by 8.30. Um, which was really lovely. And then had a really chilled evening at home. Not much of the evening. By the time I got home it was like 9.15 or something like that. So we just kind of relaxed at home. But today is a busy one. Let me show you what I'm wearing. Nothing new here, everything, oh, apart from my shoes. Nothing else is new, I'll show you. So, I'm wearing a very old Topshop dress. It's very floaty, I know it's black and white, but it is very floaty, so it's kind of very spring-like. This is that double buckle Alexander McQueen belt. My little Chanel trainers and a big bag to carry everything in. I am going to take a jacket though because although the sun is out I think it could be a little bit nippy during the day. So a black leather biker jacket will just kind of give me some protection during the day but I'm going to quickly head down have a coffee and then head out. It's in my birthday, yeah, cause I gotta say You're looking like a gift for me Wrapped up nice and neat, baby Get in my way now, don't be shy We'll be here dancing day and night Get in my groove now, don't be shy Cause I got this list of my favorite things You could be the part where it all begins You could be the first and the second and the third and the rest of it France in Marseille. Yeah. And uh, we're going to go for a sleek, sleeky hair. We just great hair. All of the charm. Fast, 
Baby, I will show you how you can catch my vibe And right away I so much time Looping in the blurry lights Get in my way now, don't be shy We'll be here dancing day and night Get in my groove now, don't be shy Cause I got the system, my favorite things You could be the part where it all begins You could be the first and the second and the third And the rest of it So this is the, my goodness, I can't even believe that this is my hair. Look at this. Look at that shine. When did my hair ever shine like that? So Alex has done the most incredible <laughs> blow dry and styling and he's given me like all the straightness, all the sleek and shine and glass hair, but I still have volume up here at the roots. This guy is a magician with hair. It was literally, I have to tell you, it was literally like watching an artist. Oh, like a, so literally a painter, an artist at work. So, anyway, right, I am done. And Alex's next client is here, so I'm gonna leave. But I just wanted to say thank you so much for my beautiful hair. And um, yeah, and by the way, Alex is a mobile hairdresser as well, so I will put his details in the description box below and how you can contact him. And I'm sure I'll be contacting him soon. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you so much. Just away from all the music, I've just come into the Trini pop-up. Actually, apparently today is the last day, which I didn't realize, so I'm glad I've come in today. And I'm gonna take you around with me, but it is the most incredible place. Oh, I've gone dark. But yeah, it is the most incredible place. It's been put together so beautifully. I want to put pigmentation retinoids as well as well. Retinoids actually really help with pigmentation as well, don't they? So in pigmentation there's a whole cycle of different different elements that will contribute towards pigmentation forming. Hello my lovelies, I am home. That was the longest day, but also so nice to see so many faces. It's so nice to go and do things in person rather than on Zoom and in fact, everyone that I saw today was saying exactly the same thing. Um, so I kind of feel like I need to kind of catch you up a little bit because I didn't really kind of speak to camera while I was out and about. I just kind of filmed while I was out there. So in the morning, I went to go and see Lone Candles who are a Canadian brand who have just recently launched in Anthropology in Regent Street. I mean, they're available online as well but they've just launched into the flagship anthropology store on Regent Street and I met the two girls who started it up. They started it in, I think they said 2018 was when they launched the brand. The candles were beautiful. They're so beautifully designed. Both the girls have so much experience in the beauty world. One of them actually in perfumery and you can really see that, that really comes through in the candles. And what I loved was on the boxes that the candles come in, they've literally noted the top, middle and base notes of the candles. So you really know what you're getting in terms of the scent of the candles. Really well priced as well. I think the bigger one, which is um, 50 hours of burn time, is like 30 pounds, which is a really good price point. And the smaller one, I think 20 hours burn time, I can't remember what that was. 20 pounds, something like that. 24 pounds, I can't remember. Really good though. Um, so from there, I then went to John Frieda, where I had my hair washed and blow dried to this glass hair, which I've never managed to achieve myself. Look at that, look at that, that shine. And dead straight, which I know is not something that I normally do. Let's see if you can see it better if I come closer to the window. Look at that. Oh my goodness. And it feels so soft, considering there was blow drying and straightening, it's like so much heat in the hair, but still that it feels so soft. And also um, some tongs, because I said I wanted to just have a little bit of volume at the roots. I don't like that kind of, you know, flat against the head look. So um, you'll have seen the, 
it looked ridiculous the little rollers that were put in at the roots just to kind of keep that volume up I've got to stop playing with it um so yeah more heat but really just so well what is that in the back oh it's the fan it's a fan floor fan um i look so tired <laughs> anyway so from there i then went to where did i go Oh, then I went to the Trini pop-up, which I'll have, you'll have seen because I just talked a little bit there. Um, but I went to the Trini pop-up and I didn't realise it was the last day, so I'm glad I went. Um, and got to see Trini and um, yeah, it was really, really nice. Beautifully done. I can't believe that's only been there for a week and that it's only going to be there till the end of today. So it won't even be there when you see this, which is a shame. But I'm going to try out the skincare because I came away with quite a few bits of skincare, including the two new moisturizers and the two cleansers, which are not new. They, they were kind of launched before. And also one of the um, exfoliants called Tiptoe In, which I've heard is meant to be incredible. So I might try that tonight. And before all of that, I went to H&M and picked up a couple of white t-shirts because I just don't seem to have any white t-shirts. I don't know where they've all disappeared to, but I just, I needed some white t-shirts. So that's been my day. Oh God. And then I had about 3% battery left and I had to get back and I didn't have any credit cards or anything with me. So I needed to make sure that I had enough battery on my phone to tap in and out, you know, on the tube. I was a bit, a bit worried, but it, it all worked out rushed home to make dinner which was late <laughs> made dinner for the kids i made the most incredible even though i say so myself uh cheese sauce like white cheese pasta sauce oh my god so nice that the kids are just eating it like a dip because it is so nice i couldn't resist i had to have some and it's all the things i shouldn't eat like the wheat and the dairy and my stomach is now feeling a little bit tender but it was worth it because <laughs> tasted so good and it's actually still only I think about six o'clock 6 15 something like that so it's been a busy one and I am going to just chill out and relax my husband is out tonight he's out with some friends for dinner so I'm just gonna cuddle up with my blanket and my cats on the sofa the girls are upstairs they're working and revising and all of the good things and um yeah my sofa is calling me my cat is, oh, let's go and see him, shall we? Hello, baby. Hello. Hello. Are we going to have a really nice cuddle this evening on the sofa? You're going to hang out with me? Maybe we'll watch a movie together. <laughs> he seems least impressed. <laughs> well, I'm looking forward to cuddling up with him on the sofa, even though he doesn't look like he's that bothered. <laughs> Um, but I think I'm going to end this vlog here. Um, a nice busy weekend coming up, so I'm sure I'll start the following vlog tomorrow. But for now, I hope that this has been a good vlog. I just can't... I'm still getting my head into the whole vlogging thing. So, yeah, I hope that this has been a good vlog and worth your time watching. And I will see you in next week's video. Bye.